And so to start off our program, our first speaker is Yusra from the Single Pair Coalition. Give it up for Yusra. It's a pleasure to be with you all today. Today, Thank you so much for having us. So I'm a physician. I'm practicing in uh, Santa Clara uh, County. And um, I just wanted to say that healthcare is a human right. We all deserve access to health care. Since 1965, when President Johnson signed into law Medicare, the program has been highly regarded on both sides and by all Americans and has been protecting the health and well-being of millions of older Americans, lifting them out of poverty, thereby improving the economic security of our nation. However, the rest of the U.S population is still held back by a very complex, for-profit, multi-tier healthcare system that we have today. We are the only industrialized nation in the world with the health of its citizen tied to their wealth and employment. If one gets sick and lose their job, they might find themselves without health coverage. Governor Newsom, who run on the platform of a single-payer healthcare system in California, is walking back his campaign promise, and instead he wants to expand Medi-Cal, a system that is failing and he knows it. Why the change of heart? Governor Newsom has received campaign contributions of $23 million from Blue Shield alone. So how did we end up here? Three words for you, private healthcare lobbyist. Representative Jayapal introduced the Medicare for All Act of 2021, but neither President Biden nor Secretary nor Speaker Pelosi support her, despite knowing that 70% of Americans voters support Medicare for All. Instead of expanding Medicare, President Biden and the Secretary of Human, Health and Human Services, Javier Becerra, are privatizing Medicare by contracting it to private, for-profit private healthcare entities. This is a scheme that was started by former President Donald Trump. These direct contracting entities, or REACH, the other name for it, will signal the end of the traditional nonprofit Medicare as we know it. So I am tired of voting for people who do not represent me. I urge you all today to say no to money in politics and help elect officials who do not take corporate money. Let's dump the lip service Democrats. I also urge you to sign the Physicians for a National Health Program petition to end Medicare privatization. And above all, I urge you to call on your representative to support, to oppose, sorry, Medicare privatization and demand they formally endorse HR 1976, Medicare for All. Thank you so much. And I have my colleague here, Peggy, who is going to say the speech in Spanish. God bless you all. And viva. Cuidado de salud es un derecho humano. Por seis décadas, Medicare ha protegido la salud y el bienestar de millones de personas mayores, sacándolas de la pobreza y mejorando así la seguridad económica de nuestra nación. Sin embargo, el resto de nosotros sufre bajo el sistema de atención médica que tenemos hoy, que es injusto, complicado, y tiene la meta no de salud, sino de ganancias. Somos la única nación industrializada del mundo en que la salud depende en su ingreso y empleo. Si uno se enferma y pierde su trabajo, puede quedar sin cobertura médica. El gobernador Newsom, que apoyó un sistema justo de salud de pagador único en California en su campaña por gobernador, se está ignorando esta promesa y, en cambio, quiere expandir medical, un sistema muy inadecuado. ¿Por qué el cambio? 
Él recibió contribuciones de campaña de 23 millones de dólares, solo de Blue Shield, una compañía de aseguranza de atención médica. La congresista Jaya Pal se presentó la ley Medicare para Todos de 2021 en el Congreso, pero ni el presidente Biden ni la congresista Pelosi la apoyan, a pesar de saber que el 70% de los votantes registrados apoyan Medicare para Todos. En lugar de expandir Medicare, el presidente Biden y el secretario de Salud y Servicios Javier Becerra lo están privatizando, contratándolo con compañías privadas con fines de lucro. Estoy cansado de votar por personas que, personas que no me representan. Digamos que no al dinero en la política y ayudamos a elegir los que no aceptan dinero corporativo. Quitamos a los demócratas que prometen apoyo pero no lo dan. Firme la petición de los médicos para poner fin a la privatización de Medicare y llame a su representante para que se oponga a la privatización y exija que respalden formalmente Medicare para todos.